Hi, this is Amanda with Metromark Realtors, and today I'm in North Quail Creek, great neighborhood, it's actually where I live, um, and I'm gonna show you 12408 Blue Sage Road. It's a great house, it's a French traditional design, three bed, three bath, three half bath, three living, two dining, and a two car garage. And um, I'm gonna flip this around somehow. There we go. So this is the street that we're on, Blue Sage Road. Oop. All right, and this is the front of the house. It was built in 1964, but it's been remodeled and updated from the current owner. The current owner's lived here since 1992, so she, that's great because she's the second owner of the house and it's really easy to track the history of the house cute pink door with a little bumblebee knocker all right so this is the entryway and to the left we have living and dining take you in here big windows the windows are new just everything's really been redone the wood floors are new Heat and air's new, plumbing's been redone. There's a swimming pool, um, and the equipment on that's new. There's a hall closet. This hallway takes you to the master bedroom and really a second master. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, there's a half bath over here. We're still in the entry. All right, this goes into the main downstairs living and a staircase that goes upstairs to a bonus media room and another bedroom and bath. So here is the living room. It's got doors that go to the backyard. There's other French doors that go to the backyard. And there's also doors to the backyard from the master bedroom. We got a fireplace. Again, the staircase. This goes into the kitchen. Informal dining. Over here, we have, um, just trying to give you a full view, swimming pool outside, little breakfast island. All right. We've got Viking double ovens and a Viking gas range. Huge island, tons of storage. Granite counters, farm sink, and overlooks the dining. Pretty light fixtures. So, great kitchen if you like entertaining, great house if you like entertaining. Um, this little hallway is gonna take you outside and also to the garage, which I won't take you in today. There's a half bath right there. Closet, closet, garage door, and then inside utility with another door that goes to the backyard, a sink, and a little desk area. So we'll go this way and I will show you the masters. Master? Well, there are two masters really. Um, right here, we got a pantry on this side and a pantry on this side. Pantry is always something to look at. A lot of times you don't realize you have a pantry. You don't have a pantry until you move in. Back to that front formal living. For perspective, we're in the entry right now, living room, hallway, front door. Great storage in these two closets right here, which I won't open right now. Half bath. Okay, so this goes into the master bedroom and this goes into what used to be the master. Little window seat, bed. Big windows. And then bathroom and closet. Walk in shower. All right, this is the master bedroom. It's got French doors, well, not French doors, doors that go out into the backyard. I'm gonna peek out here really fast. I'll take you out there in a minute, but there is, like the backyard's awesome. There's a pool, 
There's a covered outdoor kitchen with a cabana. It has a dressing room and um, a bathroom. And then there's a pergola by the fireplace. It's a beautiful master. And this goes into the master bathroom, which she did. So that door over there goes into the water closet, toilet area, big bathtub, pretty floors. So big space, barn doors, and then give you a quick glance at the closet. Great, right? That'll do. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take you back upstairs so you can see the rest of the interior and then we'll pop outside. Right. So top of the staircase, this goes into a bedroom, bathroom, hallway, and then the media room, which could be converted into a fourth bedroom. Used to be a fourth bedroom. Okay. So here is, I had the cellar leave all the doors open for me, so I touch minimally, but it's got a little sitting area and a big bedroom with a nice size closet. And then there's a door to that bathroom that I just showed you from the hall. So you can enter that bathroom from the upstairs hall or the upstairs bedroom. And here is the closet. All right, so big. This would be great. All right, big shower, pretty sink, vanity. Let's see if I can show you how big that shower really is. There we go. That gives you kind of a better view. All right, so there's great storage. I'm not gonna open all of these, but if you do, um, it's all really deep cabinets. There's a pretty art area. All right, this is the media room. Got tall ceilings, can lighting, tons of storage. Oh, ran into the dog cage. All right. So yeah, big room, but you could turn this into another bedroom if you needed four beds. I'm gonna take you back downstairs we will go outside. This house is 4,083 square feet and was built in 1964. Two owners. All right, outside's one of the awesome, awesome parts of the house. I love all the doors. That's the master right there. This has a pergola. Big, pretty outdoor fireplace. Then this cabana has an outdoor kitchen, refrigerator, very French cottagey feel. And then over around here, there's two doors that take you one into a bathroom and one into um, a little dressing room. And it is winter in Oklahoma, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time showing you the backyard, but big pool. Still lots of room for um, yard and a play area outside. And um, the pool equipment is new as in the last couple years. So let me see if I can turn you around. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you um, like this house, let me know and I'm happy to schedule an appointment and take you through it since you've seen it virtually already. If this house isn't in your price range, but you're looking to buy in the next few months, 
comment or give me a call or text and let me know what you're looking for and I can show you any house that might work for you virtually. And I have a great search site so we can get you seeing some properties that might work for you. And if you are a seller, goodness, I wish I could turn this the other way. Um, if you are a seller, I am happy to do this on your property. We can set up a Zoom time to talk about how we list and how everything is going on during this COVID-19 crisis. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.